pretty cool summer. I got to do a movie. I'm Kieran Culkin. That's Jean-Claude Van Damme. First, I was kind of nervous, because I've seen all of his movies. So I knew he always played this big kickboxing superhero. Well, anyway, <laughs> he was really nice to me. He told me about being a kid in Belgium. He told me he always wanted to be in movies, even since he was my age. He had that idea that he just had to be in movies. Yeah, we young lot. We have a lot in common. I was jumping in the air since I was a month old. I came from the bottom and I'll go to the top. I'm not saying like a hot shot. I'm doing my best. I never saw that many kids in these movies before. So I didn't know exactly what I had to do. But this movie is, well, pretty different. He's still the hero. I'm not gonna give away home. Get out of the truck! Move on. Who are you? There's lots of action. And he gets to fight a lot. That's out real lonely. That's where I come in. How come you've got a gun? Are you a bad guy? No. You like boobs? Sometimes. I think they're gross. I think they are totally gross. My name is Mike, but everybody calls me Mookie. What's your name? Sam. Well, see you tomorrow, Sam, okay? I may not be here tomorrow. And then he meets my little sister. Mookie! And the big part is, he likes my mom. Well, the mom in the movie. He's got a big penis. Bree! He does. He was in the pond washing. He's got an average penis. When the movie started, he looked very dangerous. He's dangerous. He's very lethal, very strong, physically, mentally. And uh, he escaped from uh, jail. And uh, those kids, they're going to find him. And he's going to become more like a father to them. They want your land. Why? We're going to need her parcel. It's right in the middle of the whole development. Some of these landowners can be hard nuts to crack. Let me use a hammer. Sam, Sam, something's wrong. Come on, wake up. What? Come on, come on. Mookie, wake up your mother. Tell her to call the fire department. No, go. Don't worry. It's only a movie. Mid, 14 Charlie, Mark. Roll the cover. Okay. 
It's going to be a, a different type of film for me, involving family and uh, kids and a love story. It's like an old-time movie, simple relationship and a strong hero. And uh, people, I believe, they would like to see that again. Luckily, Van Damme can do almost all of his own work. There was always the opportunity to use him to do these things, which most actors either couldn't or wouldn't do. Nobody moves like him. It's the ticking clock, making sure the flames are high enough that they look like something, yet not so high that they'll burn either a horse or an actor or both or the building. This was a barn we built and had flame bars all over the place, but it was still a wooden barn. We couldn't fake the burn endlessly without the building eventually falling down. And that barn is really burning. However, it was controlled. We were able to turn it off, but had I kept the shot rolling another 10 seconds, the barn would have just burned to the ground. of this fire scene was this idea that the water tower would fall over and put the fire out under the tanks. It worked very, very well. On the age of 13, 14, I was dreaming to become an actor. I was always a dreamer, and I like when dreams come true. So here's a story, okay? Jean-Claude goes to Hollywood, and he has nothing. No place to stay, no paper route. doesn't even speak English. I was, I was uh, doing um, all kinds of jobs, like uh, to be a bouncer, Pizza delivery guy, you know, it's like a taxi driver. Small jobs, enough to survive. I trained some people in exchange, they gave me a place to stay. It's a long story. I was training since I was 10 years old. I mean, I was not a gift, physical guy. I was very small, skinny. I trained many days, many hours. Uh, I was dreaming of having strong body, well balanced. A beautiful body. My father brought me to uh, martial arts. He's seen something on TV, that TV show uh, Kung Fu, and he was impressed about the philosophy. It was, uh, it was like a, a very new in Europe. You see, it's difficult to explain to the audience something they don't feel. It's like they have a, a bad concept sometimes about people training. Why are they going to the gym for two, three hours a day? to sweat for nothing. It's a great feeling to train. It's like it's something very special. Okay, I became a champion and so what? My name was on the paper in Belgium and nothing else. It was not a, f it was not a future. I say what I'm gonna, you know, it's like, let's do something else. I became the best in, in that area. No, I want to do something else. Let's go for a movie. Let's go back to my dream when I was a kid. Let's go to movies. And then the good part, Sean Cole gets a break. My luck was this guy owned a company, big company, and he was the only boss, the only guy to decide. I came in the office and I sold 
what I have to say. I show some physical skills, you know, I did a split between two chairs to try to impress him because, I mean, it's impressive, you know, and it's like he was impressed and, uh, and he saw my face and my eyes. And I said to him, you know, I'm gonna make it no matter what. And he told me, Arnold Schwarzenegger came to him years ago in Israel, bad English. Uh, I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. I want to be a movie star. I want you to make me a movie star. I give you a chance right now. I'm going to be the biggest star ever. So that day when I came in his office, he said, that guy's got the same look, same face, same conviction. Maybe I'm going to make a mistake twice. And he gave me blood sport. He said, he said like this, he said, Karen, bring me blood sport. My friend, this is your movie. He gave it to me. My legs, they felt like cotton balls. <laughs> I felt like, you know, I came for a part, he gave me a movie. And he told me, do you have a green card? I said, yes, for sure. You have a lawyer? I said, I'll find one tomorrow to make the deal, you know, because agent? Nope, but I'll find somebody. And uh, signed me for like $50,000. Made about $45, $50 million all over the world. Made a fortune. I'm happy for him because Give it a shot. So it was kick, 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 punch, 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 and bam. He was a big star. And I call that the uh, helicopter kick. Because all those years of martial arts, I just jump in the air, open my knee, turn around, start to stretch those legs like a split in the air. It's like a big propeller and it's very powerful. Jumping six, seven feet in the air, 360 kick in the air, it's beautiful. I mean, it's like, it's an achievement. And it's nice to be able to print that because when I'll be an old man, my son can watch me how good I was physically on those fight scenes, or precise. It's like, it's an art. I trained for it like 15 years, every day. Day and night. When those kids were going to party, you know, I was in the gym training, training, training. Now it pay off. If my first movie was playing Shakespeare, I was in deep trouble. So I came with uh, physical skills on the screen first, and the people like it, and now I'm doing something different. Where are you from? Quebec. What do you do there? What difference does it make? It's an innocent question. I'm a lawyer. Where'd you learn to fight like that? Law school. Almost immediately when you meet Jean-Claude in person is the tremendous charisma that he has and uh, you know the personal magnetism the energy this kind of infectious enthusiasm that he has 87 Delta take four more yep there'll have to be more here. let's practice until we get it. you want to hunt back for just to get the feeling of it I mean he really has screen magic it's no joke when people talk about magic things that happen when you point a camera at somebody, he's one of them. <laughs> I've got screen, screen magic, that mean charisma. He has it. For me, the best acting is what's said without the words, what's going on, and he's truly there emotionally. And he's, you know, he really is with me, and we've, we've done a few things together where we really have to lock in and connect as these people, and I, you know, he moves me. So I, I'm very impressed with him. I think people will be too. He really, really, really does have something. I never saw anything like it. Did you get burned? No. I was lucky. Sam, are you going to go home now? You're going to stay? For a while. What you see in Jean-Claude that you don't see in many of the other action stars, especially the guys that have come up through the martial arts movies the way he did, um, is that there's a real impact that he has on women. That it's not just guys who say, wow, that's great stuff, what a great fight, what a great move or whatever. That, you know, when you talk to women, 
even in the very, very early films, um, his low-budget films, you see that women really respond to him. It's very beautiful here. You're not married, are you? Used to be. A long time ago. Would you like to sleep in my room tonight? I've got so many uh, ladies, girls, and they want me to be in a different type of movie, like why you don't play a romantic role, like, uh, or maybe comedy. And that's very unique for an action star. Normally, you know, it's like, hey, kick ass. Do you want me to go? Yes. I'm, I'm 32, when I'll be 56, if I go up to there, I go, oh, look at this. I was good looking at that time, you know? So sometimes there are these mushy scenes with a lot of kissing. But then it's cut and back to all this action. It's all settle in, please. Hey guys, I gotta have a quiet. I got the glue on there, guys. I gotta make the movie now. Okay, guys. Okay, David. Get it. ready to shoot. In you come, Jean Claude. Action! Action! You cannot make it on your own. I mean, you need those people to make a good movie. Stunt guy, good directors, crew people, camera. And without that family, it's impossible to become successful. Because without that army behind you, it's impossible to have a movie. Don't move. And I start to put all the ground on him. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move, I'll put it out. Don't move, I'll put it out. Don't move, I'll put it out. You know, and, and you might... Don't move, I'll put it out. And then, okay. bam, you do what you want. You want some sweat, by the way, for the fight scene? The color of my face. Can I have some sweat, please? Uh, coming in, sir. Coming in. Absolute quiet around the camera, please. Okay, roll your camera. Rolling. Light them. Light them. Rolling. Give them both sides. Hold the work. Okay, and action. I pay attention to everything, even on a fight scene. Like, I know the light is there. Light is here if I move my head away, you know, and the camera is there. So I know everything what's going on when I'm shooting. When he's on screen, you just want to watch him. There's a certain innate magnetism. The first time he met me, I'm sure he's going to say, oh, that's the karate guy from Double Impact, kickboxer, boom, bam, bim, bam. And uh, him and I were having a very nice conversation, nothing to do with bim, bam, boom, bam. And the guy was impressed by me, and I was very impressed by him. He's a precise person who, who loves perfection. We took some pains and some trouble and some expense and some time to rolling the bus. tip over a bus here and we do it we're gonna have about nine cameras all over mounted on the bus outside long lens got two two cannons right there you can see the poles that, that fire that drive it in the pavement that tip the bus over 
We've got Oilers. We've got special braking systems. We're going to do the, a couple of speed runs and then come in here. Somebody just, just stand up here. Just stand up here and hold. Oh, here. Tony, it's hard to stand here as if you're here, I'll do it. Where, the bus, I'll do it. where the bus windows would be. Here, right? Just, I'm a bus window. You're a bus window. <laughs> a little hot. Call the bus over. All right. We're going to run with us, boys. Thank you. He was having a special camera um, um, with a crane, a vertical crane, who came inside the bus and was turning left and right. So you have a feeling to be inside the bus, looking at the window, the ceiling of the bus. Plus, the bus was rolling in one side, so the camera on the other side. Crazy. When he says something, he mean it. Go inside. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Well, I'm surprised to see that you're still here. No, you're not. Yes, I am. If I see you near her or the children, I'll kill you. 35 years ago, probably would have been played by Gary Cooper. And 20 years ago, would have been Steve McQueen. And now it's Jean-Claude. And I'll tell you, when push comes to shove, you're not going to be dealing with some little tin badge local sheriff guy. You're going to be dealing with me. OK? I look forward to it. Me too. The villains are always the most fun. They have to it had to be clearly established that they hated each other on sight. So we built that into the into the scene, and it's actually one of the best moments in the movie. I'm learning every day. I become better. Action. It's like it's like a a wine. You know, ten years is good. Twenty years is better. The tremendous determination and and commitment and focus of your energy that it takes to become a champion in the athletic arena, Jean-Claude has been able to apply to becoming a movie star. We spent many years that would have discouraged and, and sent home a lot of people, um, but not him. And in the end, no way is Van Damme going to lose. If you believe in yourself, that's the secret. Doesn't matter if it take one, two, five, ten, twenty years, but do something you want to do in life. So many people are unhappy because they don't do what they want to do, because they're scared to leave, to do something, to do the impossible. Why not? family who lives on a ranch. But these bad guys try to take the ranch. And then what happens? Karen, don't tell the end of the movie. <laughs> I'll see you at the premiere.